we're going to give you a demonstration of the training that she's had. So the training program um, can basically be broken down into five areas. There's socialization, which goes throughout, and that's a really, really big part of everything that they do, just getting out in new environments and new places and new things, um, lots of new people and all that kind of, a, kind of stuff. So there's socialization, and then there's obedience commands, manners, um, house training, and leash training. And most of what we're going to be showing you here today is going to be the manners and the obedience commands. Um, and then I'll touch on house training and leash training as well. So, starting with manners, uh, some of the manners that she's been taught are placed on command, but many of them are just behaviors that she's been taught that are not placed on command. Like, you'll notice she sits automatically for a greeting. Um, and this does a couple things for us. Number one, when she it keeps her planted, so she's in one place and not all over the place. Um, and then also when her hind end goes down, her eyes come up and she look, she's looking to you and then you have her attention. Um, it's also really handy, you know, when she's around little children and stuff, uh, to keep her from, from licking their faces and getting all over them. It's just a really good habit to keep up with for manners. Um, so if she doesn't remember every single time, just always remember to ask her for a sit when she comes up to greet you. And I want that to be her default behavior when she doesn't know what else to do. When she comes up to you or makes eye contact or anything else, I want her to just sit automatically. Um, another one of her manners that she's been taught is to take food very gently from my hands. I want her to be very soft with her teeth and to be conscientious of where the food ends and your fingers begin. So if she ever gets competitive or, uh, or you have something really yummy and she needs a reminder, just say gently and hang on to whatever it is in your hand um, and then ask her to be very soft with her teeth and use kind of her lips and her tongue to get things out of your hands rather than grabby and mouthy. Good girl, good girl. Um, so she's got mealtime manners. Um, whenever you're feeding her, there's basically five times a day that um, most people interact with their dogs when the dog is very, very motivated. And I use an acronym to help me remember all good dogs fetch toys. That's A-G-D-F-T. Um, and what that stands for is attention, gates and doorways, food and toys. These are five things most of us give our dogs several times a day. So make sure you get good use out of these times because they're very, very motivated. Don't just give them away for free. Ask for obedience when, when you do these things. So feeding time, you know, they're very, very focused and very motivated to get that, that meal. So always ask, look at how focused she is. Um, always ask for a sit, stay, <clears throat> and ask for good manners. Sit, stay.
horrible control. And they'll really like that. Because if they're not sure who's in charge, if you just kind of let them do whatever they want all the time, um, then they start to wonder if maybe they should take that role on themselves. It gives them some insecurity. So, um, We're going to go ahead and use this time to take her out to go to the bathroom. So I, I usually talk about house training at the end, but she's rung the bell, she's touched the bell with her nose, and that's what she's been taught to do. And I'm going to show you how to respond to that. Go ahead and take her by the leash, and I'll show you her doorway manners while we're here too. Stay. <laughs> 